Hello, this is Renee and welcome back. Welcome to Mindful Intuitive Self. I have been getting a lot of energy from the masculines and it's very interesting. Um, let's tap into the heart space of this DM. See what they're feeling at the moment. Give me a moment. Hey, how are you doing? I have to say that I hope you're doing well. I've had you on my mind so much lately. And I've been thinking back, thinking back to the mistakes that I made. Hmm. I keep making these mistakes. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I can change, how I can be better. I saw you. I saw you from the moment. We locked eyes. Oh, your eyes. I feel like I can drown in those eyes of yours. And at first, I kind of viewed you as a fantasy. My deepest fantasy that I never thought could possibly be real. And then after experiencing you, wow, your every thought of my fantasy You're everything I ever wanted. <laughs> everything I needed. Everything I dreamed of. And it scared the shit out of me. At first I thought I was protecting you by keeping my distance. Protecting you from <laughs> all my shit, my life can get pretty hectic, even though I try to keep my life as calm as possible, <laughs> it never seems to happen that way, and you, you bring a peace, like, It's so hard to describe, but I feel like you're an angel sent down from heaven, having every possible thing that I've ever wanted in a person. It's like you're the person I prayed for, you're the person I asked God for, <laughs> and he sent you to me at such a bad time, <laughs> wow, doesn't it always happen like that, <sighs> and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say, but I know that I have to protect you because you, you are special. And even though I know that you're something that comes around, 
possibly just once. And that hurts. Because I know that if I mess this up, which I probably will, in all likelihood, I messed everything else up. I'll never have this chance again. And your love, oh my gosh, your love, there's nothing like it. And I've tried looking, I've tried to get that feeling from other people. You have something so remarkable, so amazing about you. I feel like no one else can possibly have those qualities. And as much as I wanted to be, I know that I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be everything that you need. <laughs> I don't know what you possibly see in me. What can I do to keep you intrigued? To keep you satisfied, to keep you amazed with me. I'm still, I'm just baffled how I can attract someone like you. <clears throat> And I'm working on it. Even though I feel like even if I <laughs> work my damnedest, I don't know if I could possibly live up to the person that you d deserve. Because your love is like nothing I have ever felt before. Not from a partner. Not from a spouse. Not even from family. Hell, my parents didn't even love me like you. <laughs> Where did you come from? Who sent you? I had to ask myself, am I getting played? Because this, this person is too real. This person is just amazing on so many levels. And even the slightest action, I feel something different. I feel something amazing when I'm around you. Have patience with me. But you need to live your life because I can never live up to the standard that you need. You need someone just as amazing as you. 
<laughs> I don't know what you see in me. But I'm falling. I'm falling. I miss you.